From a young age, my sister and I would often start naming numbers which got progressively higher than the previous one mentioned by the other person until one of us reached the highest point. One, two, five, a hundred, and so on. Until inevitably, one of us would mention infinity. However, instead of just stopping there, the other would go to infinity plus one and we would repeat the whole process again from there. When formulating this talk, while reminiscing about these memories with my sister, I thought, can this be considered true? When you add one to a number, it is higher than the original one in almost any circumstance. That is, until we reach infinity. As you may already know, Infinity is a number so large that it doesn't have any quantifiable value. Infinity is also one of the two numbers, the other being zero, which you cannot divide by. This leads us to the question, is infinity real or is it just a concept made by mathematicians? Now in terms of infinity, there is no roof to real numbers in which we finally reach it. For example, after 99, we reach 100. After 999,999,999, we reach 1 billion. However, there's no point when one can truly reach infinity while counting. Infinity means something that goes on and on forever without stopping. Here's the official definition. In math, we use infinity a lot. For instance, imagine a sequence where we are multiplying the previous number by the same number over and over again, like so. As you can see, the numbers keep getting bigger or smaller. And eventually, as you keep doing this, the numbers become so big or so small that you can't tell the difference between two successive values. This is like saying the sequence goes on forever. And at a certain point, the number becomes so huge or so minuscule that you can't even tell them apart anymore. In other words, imagine you have a cake. In this sequence, we will be having each time. Initially, the slices will be substantial. However, as we go, they will keep getting smaller and smaller because we are having what's left from the previous slice. As an example, let's get to the fifth term or slice. First, the size of the slice is half, then a quarter, then an eighth, and so on. Eventually, eventually, the slices become infinitesimally small. A little something like this. So, if we can multiply to infinity, why can't we divide by it? Dividing is evidently the inverse of multiplying in math. So take 10 divided by 2 as an example. We are seeing how many times we can add 2 by itself to get a final value of 10, which is 5. 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2. Then we can move to decimals, such as 10 divided by 4. We can add 4 to itself once. However, the third time it would have to be halved, giving us a final value of 2.5. Now, with the two quick calculations that were just done, we can say that when you divide by a larger number, the final value becomes smaller and smaller. So, when you divide by infinity, which is literally the largest thing in existence, could we say that the final value becomes zero? Unfortunately for you, the fact that we can't say this is what debatably, makes math more interesting. Infinity and dividing by infinity is nothing like dividing by a regular number. Because infinity is this endless idea of going on and on. So if we divide an actual number from an endless idea, there's no way we're going to get a meaningful answer. Going back this concept of infinity plus one is calling my sister's name. And I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but infinity plus one is not actually a greater value than infinity. I know. 
Infinity is this endless idea of going on and on, and it is an unbounded concept, rather a notion of limitless quantity or magnitude. So when you add one to infinity, the value doesn't change its nature or magnitude. So complex, I know. Let me translate this to English. Adding one to infinity is like adding a drop of water into an ocean or a grain of sand into a desert. The vastness of both could not possibly change because of one drop or one grain. Comparatively, infinity is the same thing, but to an even lesser extent. Because if someone were to count every grain of sand or every drop of water, it would give a finite value. And as we all know, infinity is infinite. So when we talk about infinity in space or love, we're basically talking about an unbounded concept. So when we say space is infinite, we are basically saying that it goes on and on and there's no edge to it. It's like trying to imagine how far the sky goes. When we say love is infinite, it means that it has no bounds. Basically meaning that it goes on no matter what. So whether we talk about infinity in space or love, we are talking about this concept of going on and on with no end or limit. Now, I'm sure you would all agree that this talk should not be infinite. So to keep things finite, infinity is this extremely ambiguous concept. And there are, to this day, a large amount, or to stay on topic, an infinite amount of information still yet to be discovered. Thank you. <laughs>